Hi guys, I'm back to it for the new year and my first job is compost. I am getting the veggie patch sorted out, the other half of it. So as you know, I started with the first half of the veggie patch a um, couple of months ago now. And right now the guy is, where is he? Big compactor thing there. Um, he is loading up one cubic meter of fine sieve compost for me from SA Composters. And I am just doing a ute load at a time because as you might remember, I got seriously bogged last time we did this job when they delivered it. So I thought I better not have that happen now. Oh gosh, I'm just watching because this is, this is gonna be really fun. Here comes the first cubic meter of fine sieve compost. I have to do four or five of these loads today, um, but it's gonna be an exciting job. It is gonna be hot today. So I am trying to get it all done this morning. Let's see how we go. <laughs> oh, it always scares me, the big bucket like right on top of me. All right, guys, so my rough plan is that I have bought the ute full of soil over to the end of the veggie patch. I've got the first two rows of cardboard down um, and I will just shovel from the ute straight onto the cardboard into big piles. I'm not going to bother about raking it out. I'm just going to dump it in big piles, then kind of move the ute back, dump some more piles, move the ute back, dump some more piles. Um, and hopefully by doing it this way, I'm moving the ute itself as opposed to moving me more. So maybe it'll work and make it a little bit less difficult because I'm just shoveling the dirt straight down instead of like into a cart and moving it like I did last time. Um, I'm going to need four or five ute loads to cover the area. Um, but I'm just going to get started because I really want to get this job done before it gets too hot. I'll kind of show you the stages as I go and we'll see how it turns out. I mean, it's gonna turn out great. Look at the veggie patch. It's doing amazingly. So this is just part two. <laughs> this is definitely gonna work well. This is just a couple of minutes of just shoveling this amount into a pile. It's nearly enough, I think, for this area. I'm just gonna do one or two more shovels and then move the ute back and kind of just dump a pile in between each section of bricks. Woo! -hoo! I do prefer it when they um, load me up with the little guy. The big one was scary. <laughs> this is the second load of fine sieve compost from SA Composters, all organic, just down the road from me. I love it. Black gold. I've had a costume change because the sun is out and it is getting hot. I'm also in gloves because I got the blister. That's okay. I have done one, two, and I'm on to ute load three of compost. So I'm feeling really, really good about that. It's taken me about two hours to get to this point, and that's included like rolling out the cardboard, going to SA composters, getting more compost, all of that sort of stuff. So I'm making good time. My plan at the moment is to unload this, still keeping it in the piles like I'm doing to see how far it goes. Going to race down and get the last load. I think that I'm only going to need four. Uh, then I'll rake it out and have a look. If, if I need a little bit more, I'll judge. Is it like one or two bags? I'll just get bagged. Is it um, like a ute load? We'll see. You know, that's, that's what this is all about. I am feeling it though. I've been sitting on holidays for a couple of, um, for a week and a half. I think um, not really doing much and I'm feeling it today so looking forward to finishing this up um, especially hopefully before it gets far too hot so I'm gonna keep going and I'll show you as I get to the next stage I think that this is the last one here comes number four How good does it look? 
it is all finished and I am so happy with it. So it ended up being four loads of compost, uh, which I just kind of dumped out of the ute in piles. Then I did a dump run. I hurt my finger. You can see it's a bit swollen here. Um, I had um, a whole heap of concrete blocks from those fence posts that I've been pulling out. I thought, well, I've got the ute, I'm gonna get rid of them. And anyway, I was putting the second to last one in and smashed my finger. So that was fun. Um, anyway, iced it a little bit, came out, raked it all down, and I've had the sprinkler. I've had the sprinkler on it, just settling all the compost, because if I didn't do that, the compost would just wash away in the wind. So there it is. It is all so exciting, so full of promise, so full of just excitement for me. Um, it means that I can run my next round of veggies. I've got no idea what I want to plant there. I honestly have no idea, but I just really had a hankering to get the patch done. So let me show you one or two little things um, that are just things that I think I should show you. And that's going to be it. So I will come along and tidy up the edges of the cardboard. Uh, the cardboard is there as weed suppressant under the mulch and the mulch is a really nice thick layer. Now the two compost bins, this one is full of chicken poo that's um, like composting away. This one is chicken poo is being put in it now. Um, I didn't feel like moving them. So I've just bought the cardboard right up to the edges of it and I'll deal with these weeds shortly. The cardboard comes all the way along to the edge here. This corner, um, you can see the drip line, that's pretty much the edge of the whole patch. And I'll tidy up this edge as well, which will be really nice. It's all kind of in line. Um, the worm farms, one and two, just in there. Let me get under the shade, it's hot. And I just, as I said, raked it all out. So it'll clean up nicely. Uh, the only part then of the patch that doesn't have any compost is the very first bit that I laid. And I mean, I did work a little bit of just bag compost in, but maybe when I pull these um, things out in the next week or so, um, maybe I'll bring some compost in. We'll see how we go. This is carrots just here. The dead lettuce. Potatoes are ready to harvest. I can essentially do them whenever I want and then onions in the background. So anyway, I will probably be able to get maybe four or five more rows of drip in here. I'm running um, my rows a meter long row with a 70 centimeter um, walkway and I'm really happy that I've chosen that spacing. Like over there, yes, I could have done it closer together, but you see the vine crops? It's just like you've got to give them that spacing to walk between. So I'll put another couple of rows in here. I will have to split the drip system. So this um, whole veggie patch is on one drip line and I will have to make that into two drip lines um, only because this really is the extent of what one can do. When I added the sunflower row here, um, it really started struggling to keep up. So I probably, Put a line down the middle here this side will go on one drip and this side will go on another and that will make the drip work a whole lot easier veggies are doing great it's just a little bit sad right this very second because it is a hot afternoon but how wonderful does that look so happy with it cardboard great idea compost great idea got it all done in one day and I'm going to go back inside. My cold shower earlier was amazing, but so is the air conditioning. <laughs> Bye guys.